Hey everyone, got home from work, sitting on the porch, it's 80 degrees here. Believe that or not, it's February and it's 80 flipping degrees. You notice I got my chainsaw out, I'm getting ready to go cut trees. And just a minute ago, you seen all my wind chimes, they're just a humming and a blowing. I'm on my, this is one of my porches, I've got three of them. One on the front porch needs work, but I do have a back deck also, so... I've definitely got to trim some of these trees back on my back side of my house because they're getting really bad back there and I've dreaded doing it and not wanted to do it, but I need to get it done. Want to get on here and uh, talk to you a little while about some different things that's going on. First of all, if you're not part of the channel, subscribe, share, like this video, tell your friends, share the videos with them. Do videos yourself. Get out there. Spread the word that Jesus is coming back soon. Today's topic will be America. And God was really talking to me about it last night. I want to address that the fact that these prophets are telling you that God's going to fix America. It's not true. It's all lies. That is not what God's saying at all. America made its choice. It's sold out. It's sold its soul. If you don't believe me, turn on your TV, every show you watch, and you see what America is. And not only America is doing this, but it's trying to spread it to the world. It's evil, people. This country is just absolutely plum evil. And God is done with it. And these prophets are telling you he's coming back, he's literally going to fix the country and everything. No, he's done. America is now Sodom and Gomorrah. It is going to fail. It's going to collapse and be nothing. And God's going to make sure that it's nothing. This country has decided to spit in God's face over and over and over and over and over. The church is plum corrupt. That's the reason why we're in the place we're in. We destroy more children in this country than any war ever fought on the planet. People, wake up. Politicians ain't going to save this country. God's already said that's over. You know, a lot of people believe, you know, a lot of the people that talk about Trump and everything, that is one, that one prophet prophesied him to come back. But, you know, that didn't come from God. It come from a man. And should have proved it wrong when it didn't happen. But now they're really thinking, well, this is the second term because this guy promised it. This guy is not God. Did Trump fulfill the one thing that he was supposed to do? Yeah, he made Jerusalem the capital of Israel. That was his only job. But there was a woman prophesied many, many years ago. I think maybe back in the 60s that the 45th president would be the last free president of the United States. All the way back in the 60s, and I don't know how in the world, if she wasn't of God, I don't know what is. Because she nailed it. It was way, way after her time. But she knew. And we have. We've seen the last free president. While he was over there in another country, giving them money for pensions, and weapons he left his own country in the state of Ohio in a mess with them people could barely afford to go get a hotel room if you can't see what's going on that this country is away from God and it's not going back to God you're blind because it's not happening this ain't the 60s this ain't the 70s half the country hates this country and God knows it that's why he's coming back but I do believe that this country has to be removed for the seven-year tribulation because it's basically the big brother of Israel. And that's why the church has to be removed, because everybody would be over there fighting for Israel. So that's why they both got to be removed, and that's what's going to happen. And that is 100% confirmed by God that he's coming back. Jesus is coming back here now because... Everything that's supposed to happen has already happened. But all you got to do is turn on your TV. Even the church itself. 
is telling everybody this kind of lifestyle is okay. Wake up. These prophets are lying to you. It's not coming, which I think a lot of you all that truly are the sheep of God, you know, you already know. It's the ones in a denial that are not God's sheep. They can never understand because they, they worship their politicians, not God. And that's not going to get them anywhere. Like I said, it's all going to be gone very soon anyway. There won't be politicians as we know of. They'll be gone. Because God's going to cripple it. And they're like, well, God ain't going to cripple America. Watch and see, if you don't believe me. And he can do it overnight, and he does do it overnight. It's completely crippled overnight once it happens. You shouldn't be concerned about this or any of it because you're going home. That's why I said, fear not. Jesus is coming. You have to have yourself ready for this situation. Because if you're not on the ark when it happens, you are going to be stuck here in it. And it won't be anything like it is now. So you got to have yourself ready. But understand, everything today is you definitely going to be washed away tomorrow the way it's going. Now we've got... You know, I, I knew months ago, actually years ago, when we started talking about these weapons that we would never even utter the name of them, and now they throw it around like it's candy. They want this to happen, and they want it bad. Because you are the threat. You, the people. You're taking away their resources, your, their food, their medicines, and they want you gone. And anybody that's got half a brain can see it. And then 2020 happened, and we all know about all that mess. What they did, and what they're still doing. And that is what turned the table, and now Jesus is coming back. Because Jesus knows what they're planning. See, you don't, I don't. He does. I've, I asked him on October the 24th, why now? And then he's like, you just don't know what they're planning. For you and for the people. But Jesus does. That's why he's coming back. See, it's not in the media. It's not out in the public. But Jesus knows what they're getting ready to do. That's why he's coming back to get us. That's what's causing this. And I think a lot of you all that listen to this right now, you know what that is. You know. You know what's coming. So, like I said, fear not. Fear not. You have nothing to fear. This is the greatest time in the church's history that God's sheep is going home. This is a great time. And just think, today is in February, and it's 80 degrees here. And I want to thank Cindy and Chuck for keep putting the hokey pokey in my head last night. I've had that song stuck in my head all night. I've been wanting to shake it all about. Thanks, Cindy and Chuck. Thank every one of you for your emails and all your support here. Couldn't do it without you all because you are my eyes all over the world. And the more emails I get and I put them together from all the way from New Zealand, Australia, Britain, France, everywhere you, and in between, it's the same thing. People are having visions, dreams. They're waking up. Revivals are breaking out because this is it. This is the end. The weather... And everything that's happening right now is your signs. The earthquakes, everything. Plants blowing up all over the United States. Just today I wake up, a uranium plant is on fire. I mean, it just, it's every day. If you can't see America is at war now in its own country, you're absolutely blind. You know, we've lost over 200 to three, I guarantee you, close to 250 food processing plants in the last two and a half years. Heck, probably a hundred of them in six months. And now trains derail me. Every time I turn on the news, another plant. I mean, people, wake up. You know what's happening. We're already at war. We're already at war. People just don't realize it. Something is going on. We know what it is. But the world has, they're in denial. 
Americans definitely. Their, their heads are so far in the sand, all they can think of is football, and their TV shows, their celebrities. They're completely, it's completely and exactly just like Sodom and Gomorrah. They're so in love with sin that they cannot see anything in front of them. But I'm here to tell you, it's all coming to an end very, very soon. And it won't take long. It only takes five minutes, believe it or not. And everything changes. Everything. No more vacations, no more sports, no more music. All of it gone in five minutes. And that's how long it will take. Once the event happens, that's it. The church is raptured right before, and everybody else has to live in the aftermath of it. Do not be in the aftermath, because it's not a fun living. You can't just go to the doctor when you're sick, or any of that stuff. It's all gone. All gone. And there's nobody coming to help you. That's it. You're on your own. In a world of chaos for seven and a half years. Well, seven years. Three and a half, but God shortens the time or nobody would survive that in seven years. Nobody would survive them. Most people don't. Over half, over half the population will be destroyed. So, don't be left here. If you want to go home fast... Get with Jesus now, people. Scary times are coming. But not for you. You don't fear anything because you was brought here. You're a light at the, in the darkness for so many others. You're going to have your opportunity to get your kids saved and everything. God has assured me of that. The next two events, it's going to scare a lot of people back into church. So you're going to get your opportunity. Even the ones you think is stubborn and hard to get, They'll come, just keep praying for their souls, God to lighten their souls, and they'll be ready. People, it's almost time to get on the bus and get out of here. Thank goodness I'm sick of this world. It's so evil and conniving and just disgusting world that we live in. God bless you all. I'll do another video tonight. By now, I need to get out there and start cutting trees that I do not want to do, but I'm going to do it anyway because i got to get it done. Got to get it done. I've got to cut some of this brush back. It's got to be done. It's growing into my backyard, and it's definitely not getting no sun back here. So definitely got to get it done. If not, I just let it go, and hopefully Jesus comes back and don't have to deal with it. And I don't think I'm going to have to deal with it much longer because... I don't think we'll be here in the summer. I think we'll be out of here. I, I, I'll be surprised we're here weeks from now, the way things are going. Escalating every day I wake up, it escalates 20% more. So be ready. Fear not, my friends, my brothers and sisters all over the world, because we're getting ready to go home. Thank goodness. If you don't see or hear from me again, I'll see you in heaven.